Ever wondered why floppy disks could be better for games and programs than CD-ROM or DVD-ROM? Let's take a step back in time to the 1970s, when floppy disks first made their debut. These handy little storage devices were the cornerstone of the burgeoning era of personal computing. They were compact, portable and easy to use, qualities that quickly made them a hit among early tech enthusiasts. Being inexpensive to produce and having the ability to be rewritten and reused, floppy disks were a cost-efficient choice for many. They were particularly efficient at handling small software and games, making them the go-to storage medium for early computer users. Their low cost and reusability made them an attractive option for software distribution. Floppy disks were more than just a storage device, they were a symbol of freedom and mobility in the digital world. But as technology advanced, was there a need for more robust storage options? Enter CD-ROMs. As the 90s rolled around, CD-ROMs started to take center stage, but why? The answer lies in the technological advancements of the era. As computers became more powerful and the demand for multimedia content surged, the floppy disk's limited storage capacity was exposed. Enter the CD-ROM, a shiny beacon of hope in this digital age. CD-ROMs offered a quantum leap in storage capacity, capable of storing hundreds of megabytes of data compared to the modest one and a half megabytes of a floppy disk. This newfound space opened up a world of possibilities, not just for text and images, but for audio and video content as well. The impact was revolutionary, transforming the way we consume media and interact with software. But it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows for the CD-ROM. Their Achilles heel lay in their fragility. A small scratch could render a CD-ROM useless, a stark contrast to the ruggedness of floppy disks. Moreover, unlike their floppy counterparts, CD-ROMs weren't reusable. Once data was written onto them, it was there to stay. Another aspect to consider was the hardware. To use a CD-ROM, one needed a CD-ROM drive, a piece of equipment not initially standard in computers. This meant an additional cost for users, making the transition to CD-ROMs a significant investment. And just when we thought CD-ROMs were the pinnacle of digital storage, the DVD-ROM was introduced. DVD-ROMs, the new kid on the block, promised even more storage. But was it all it was cracked up to be? As the late 90s rolled around, the digital world was introduced to the DVD-ROM. This new form of storage was a game-changer, offering a whopping 4.7 gigabytes of capacity. That's over 600 times the storage of a standard floppy disk. It was enough space to store high-quality video content, entire encyclopedias, and a variety of multimedia applications. DVD-ROMs seemed like the future of digital storage, but let's not get carried away. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows with DVD-ROMs. For one, you needed specific hardware to read them. A CD-ROM drive wouldn't cut it. You had to invest in a DVD-ROM drive, which, back in the day, could cost you a pretty penny. Moreover, unlike their floppy and CD-ROM counterparts, DVD-ROMs weren't reusable. Once you burned data onto them, it was there for good. No deletions, no additions, no changes. It was a one-shot deal. And then there was the issue of compatibility. Not all systems were equipped to handle the high-density data of DVD-ROMs. This meant that users often had to upgrade their hardware, adding to the overall cost and inconvenience. So, with all these advancements, why would anyone argue that floppy disks could be better for games and programs? Despite the evolution of digital storage, could the humble floppy disk still hold its own? Let's delve into this. Floppy disks have a few key advantages that may seem old-fashioned but are indeed endearing. First, their reusability. Unlike a CD-ROM or DVD-ROM, you can rewrite data on a floppy disk multiple times. It's like a digital notepad that you can wipe clean and start over. Then there's the simplicity of their design. No need for complex burning software or intricate lasers, just a simple magnetic disk that stores your data. And let's not forget their practicality for small programs and games. The limited storage capacity of a floppy disk can be an advantage, encouraging developers to create compact and efficient code. And of course, there's a certain charm and nostalgia to the floppy disk that CD-ROMs and DVD-ROMs just can't match. So, whether it's the nostalgia, the simplicity, or the reusability, there's still a case to be made for the humble floppy disk.